kickstarting enabling teams shouldn't be considered the end goal. The goal is to enable the organization to leverage the enabling behaviors to improve its ability to achieve a sustainable flow of change. However, organizations tend to be reluctant to adopt enabling teams as they are not directly working on products. And to deal with that, we recommend focusing on specific current challenges to showcase the multiplying value and impact that future enabling teams can bring to organizations. By doing so, we create momentum around the necessary foundations to establish effective enabling teams in the organization. So you might be asking, how can we start doing that? Well, look for situations where some people might already be exhibiting enabling behaviors. At this stage, don't focus prematurely on creating structures or expecting to create official enabling teams. Instead, focus on practicing the behaviors and the learning loops that are necessary for enabling teams. This is very important because every organization has its own culture, its own mental models already in place. And they might not yet recognize the value of enabling teams because they haven't seen it in practice inside their organization. This is why we recommend starting small, practicing to explore what the organization needs in order to kickstart enabling teams sustainably. For example, incentivize people to share with the broader organization their learnings on solving specific challenges in their scope of work. So we can look at a specific example where a team has been pioneering a new approach to do, for example, performance testing in their organization. They share what they learn on the company's demo day, which then allows other teams to learn from them. And these other teams now know who to talk to if and when they face similar challenges. The manager of this pioneering team incentivizes them to go and help other teams as needed. She knows that in the future, her team's effort right now will pay back as other teams probably will pioneer other useful approaches and help her team adopt them. And there are obviously caveats to this, and we will get back to them later. However, this demonstrates a fundamental cultural behavior change needed to successfully kickstart enabling teams. As we can see in this simple example, we are not focused on creating structures or creating bureaucracies to kickstart enabling teams. The focus is on showing value first. It's about learning and showing the importance of adopting these enabling behaviors and facilitating other teams. If you remember the case study we saw earlier, kickstarting also started with just enough structure and a clear goal of experimenting and showing the value in high potential opportunities around data science adoption. Clearly, they were focused on adopting enabling behaviors first, such as facilitating teams in their initial adoption of data science for existing products. This was in fact a major success factor for that organization, 